but one study does report that some version of the uptick rule could work in some limited trading situations. Alexis, back to you. All right, Peter, thank you very much. Joining me to talk a little bit further about the need for the return of the uptick rule is Senator Ted Kaufman of Delaware. Good morning, Senator. Thanks for being here. Hey, good morning, Alexis. Thanks for having me. You know, I spoke to Duncan Niederauer yesterday about this, the head of NYSE Euronext, and we talked about what has worked or it has not been effective in the past about the uptick rule, particularly since we're now in the world of decimalization. There are some who suggest that even when we repealed it last summer with the 19 financial institutions, that it didn't really give the intended requests or the in intended remarks that we'd like to see. Why do you think it would be so substantial right now? Well, I think, Alexis, this is all about consumer confidence. This is all about people having confidence in the markets. And, you know, the uptick rule was in existence for 70 years. When I was at Wharton, we were taught that the uptick rule was a way to stop volatility, keep volatility down, and to keep uh, sharp movements down. All it says is that before you can make a short sale, you have to have an uptick in the, in, in, in the price. So it's not, that, uh, uh, it's not that controversial. I think the other thing is, frankly, that the decisions made by the Securities Exchange Commission over the last four years are not ones that, that investors have a whole lot of confidence in. So here's a, here's, a, here's a vehicle that in the calm of day, everyone practically that was involved in investment strategy said was a good rule to kind of keep volatility down, to kind of stop bear raids, short selling on a stock. We removed it. I think it's time to put it back in and demonstrate that we have confidence in the markets, increased confidence in the markets. I think we also have to do something about naked short sales. Yep. I've done short sales, and when I do short sales, I had to have the stock in hand. Now they have a very, uh, uh, not very strong uh, mm. requirement that you have the stock. So those two things, I think, are there. And, and if you read the, uh, what's going on in, in terms of what the investors, the head of the Fed, uh, Ben Barnicky, said, we have to do it. So March 3rd, I wrote to Mary Shapiro, and I said, I think it's time to put the uptick rule in, and I think it's time to put stronger uh, requirements to make sure that people are covering their short sales, that they have the stock to, to, to deliver the stock if, in fact, they get in trouble. You know, Senator, I couldn't agree with you more. We talked about it on this show a year ago. We had the evidence that suggested at the time that when the SEC decided to repeal the uptick rule, they tested it in a bull market. So there's a lot of people who have been talking about this for a long time who say, great, we're glad that you're getting on board right now, but it's a little too little too late. I don't think it's a little, look at the stock market. I don't think it's a little too late. What are we trying to do here? What we're trying to do is do realistic things that make sense in order to bolster consumer confidence so people get back into the market. I mean, people right now are scared of the market. They're not sure about what happened. They're not sure about what we're doing about it. So we come out, and, to be honest with you, when we don't reinstitute the uptick rule, when we don't require naked shorts, they say, business as usual, I'm not going to get back in the market. I just got blasted by this market, and I need some confidence to get back in. So this is not going to solve the whole problem. But I think it's going to be a big step in terms of building consumer confidence and letting them know, look, we are reexamining what the SEC did over the last four years. I know you don't agree with it. This is one where we're pretty sure we're on the right track. We're going to go ahead and do the uptick rule. We're going to make sure that you can't have naked short selling. I think it's going to boost consumer confidence. By the way, personally, just so no one understands, I think substantively it's the thing to do. I think it makes it very hard for these bear raids, these predators that drive down stocks. I mean, I've been in this market for almost 50 years now. I've never seen stocks go up and down, mainly down, like they have with such rapidity. When you've got the bank stocks selling at the rates they're selling at, you've got to believe part of this is bear raids on the, on the stock market. So I just think this is okay. absolutely the important thing to do. Uh, Senator, e, uh, Peter Barnes is in Washington, D.C. with me here. He was just talking about some exclusive information that we received from the SEC. Peter, yes. uh, jump in there. Peter, you have a question for the senator? Well, uh, Senator, what, what kind of version of the uptick rule would you like to see? As you know, because of decimalization in the markets, stocks are only trading at a penny now, and the rule, uh, according to supporters, you know, worked when you had a, a quarter increment in a trade, fractional trading. Uh, what, what are you looking for specifically with a new uptick rule? How would it be structured? Peter, look, I look at this as totally a software problem. This is not a substantive problem. We can come up with an uptick rule. I'm not arguing about whether it's a tenth of a, of, of, of a cent or whether it's a cent or whether it's a quarter or whatever else it is. I'm just saying we can put the software in with the new digitalist market in order to do this. It's just the will to do it and the decision to do it. And, if, and, and at this point, 
I think saying we can't do it because we can't figure out how to deal with the software in terms of the different markets is just not a good answer to most American consumers and people who are willing to invest in the market. It just doesn't make sense. All right. We're going to leave it there. Senator Kaufman, thank you very much. Peter Barnes, thank you as always. All right, gentlemen, we're going to.